Long ago, the many defaults lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when the sweats attacked. Only the Fortnite coach, helper of bots, could stop the sweats. So just make sure you hit the follow button. Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? If you can tell from the title, today I'll be covering build battles. Are they still worth practicing? Do they make you better? Well, what's the point, waifus? I don't have infinite mats in arena. Silly Boomer Bobby. That's exactly what I'm here to talk about. I'm going to tell you how they're still relevant to the game and have always held the meta for practicing your mechanics. Before we start the video, make sure you like, follow, and hit the little bell button while you're at it. And if you need any coaching advice, let me know in the comments. So build battles pretty much like anything else in life, you're going to want to practice them every single time you play. Whether it be with a friend or a random from BHE matchmaking, the point is, you're going to want to play a lot. So I recommend when you hop on, practice build battles for at least 15 minutes at a time. If you don't know what build battles are, it's basically when you go against a friend and you both build against each other. There's no other way to explain it. The more often you build battle, the more proficient you'll become with overall offense and defense while in a fight. Basically what you do is you fight while building, and it teaches you how to use those builds while fighting. Sounds pretty simple, right? Well, it's a lot harder than you'd expect. The reason why is you actually have to learn how to build to build battle, because you have to build. Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. If you're going to practice against your friends, I recommend one wanting somebody similar to your skill level, or even slightly worse than you. There's a rumor that's going around that getting crapped on will make you better at the game. Trust me, it's not going to do anything for you. Your friend that's really good at the game just wants to clip you, not make you better. If you have a friend that's really good at the game, you should ask them for advice or tactics to practice. 1v1ing well, them head on isn't going to help you at all. They're just going to crap on you left and right and not give you a chance. The most they're really going to do for you is teach you how to die over and over again. Realistically, you need somebody that can actually give you a chance so you can practice your skills. But they can't be so bad that they don't challenge you either. They have to be perfectly in the middle ground. So they're kind of easy to go against, but they still crap on you here and there. I personally learned how to be aggressive by playing against people that were slightly worse than I was at the game. And I learned how to practice my defense by one wanting somebody that was around the same skill level as me. BHE private build fights are a great way to go against all sorts of players with different skill levels and play styles. If you don't know the code for BHE build fights, make sure you check the description. Now that we've talked about how to get better, let's talk about the topic of why build battling makes you better at the game. When you're in a build battle, you go against your opponent with infinite materials to battle it out until one of you is eliminated. Since if you have infinite materials, you're able to practice things such as high ground retakes, double edits, triple edits, and quad edits, peace control, or even just your overall basics like 90s. The main thing is, is you're practicing these things while you're under pressure by your enemy. Being under pressure is one of the best ways to force growth or even point out things that you still struggle with. If you start choking your builds or boxing up when your enemy shoots at you, try to focus on what you can practice to make the situation a little easier on yourself. To practice the things that you struggle with, you'll want to go into creative and load up a 1v1 map by yourself. Now try to build to the best of your abilities and try to point out the flaws that you could work on. Most people don't know how to free build. It's as simple as building and editing as much as possible, trying to improve your mechanics and muscle memory so you can perform better under pressure. If you need help with simple retakes, you can always look at my YouTube for my building tutorials and practice them until you can start freestyling your own stuff. Let's have a quick summary over what we've talked about in today's video. Number 1. Free build or build battle every time you play. Number 2. Practice with people that aren't way better than you. Number 3. Try to see where you struggle under pressure. Number 4. Free build to practice the things that you struggle with. And number five, I'm the best Fortnite coach ever. If you need any other coaching advice, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can help you out. So that's going to be all for today's video and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you've made it this far, make sure you like, follow, and hit the little bell icon.